Hi everybody, Michael Snyder here, Seattle Weather Guy. Welcome to my new YouTube channel, Pacific Northwest Weather Chasers. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at local weather phenomena and explain upcoming weather events throughout the year for the Pacific Northwest. Today, we're gonna to talk about the upcoming extreme heat wave for the Pacific Northwest. And these are usually brought on by West Coast thermal troughs. And as you can see here, the development of the ridge is evident on the water vapor loop here as it spins through British Columbia and Western Washington. The eventual end to the extreme heat will come from this upper level low that doesn't show up on visible or infrared satellite imagery. It'll swing up the Oregon coast here in Washington. It'll bring, eventually bring a marine push that drops temperatures about 15 to 20 degrees difference from Monday on into Tuesday. Eastern Washington, Oregon, and BC won't be so lucky, but Western Washington and Oregon will get a break starting at about Tuesday, a relative break at that. They're still going to get upper 80s, maybe even close to 90 degrees on Tuesday. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But let's go ahead and take a look at what a thermal trough is. So basically, it's the result of offshore flow and a strong ridging aloft. Um, you'll get this air that kind of moves over the Rockies, over the Cascades, compresses and heats as it goes into Western Washington and causes a low pressure, basically a thermal low. And you can see it's a pretty subtle feature. Um, if we look at 925 millibar temperatures, you can kind of see the development of the thermal trough. This is Friday morning. You can see the temperatures are warm, but nothing ex too extreme over Western Washington. You can kind of see that heat building to the south and it comes up over eastern Washington by tomorrow afternoon. Still not quite as extreme as we're going to see here. As you see, we're getting into Saturday. We're about 30 C at 2,500 feet. Pretty impressive. We're up around 88 degrees there at 2,500 feet on the Saturday afternoon. Pretty extreme. And the hallmark of this thermal trough is just the extent of this warm air that gets out over the ocean here, over Western Washington, Oregon, and British Columbia. You can see by Sunday morning, just extreme heat here, all the way out over the ocean. A really good indicator of a thermal trough there. And as we go on into Monday, you can see the cooling that starts to begin there on the Oregon coast. This is usually how um, a thermal trough, the heat for Western Washington and Oregon comes to an end. That marine push will work its way up eventually. It's going to be close for Western Oregon. It will still be pretty warm, downright hot. It's as usually the case on the last day of a thermal trough. As before this slides over into Eastern Washington, the last day is usually the warmest. You can see 36 degrees at 925 millibars there. An exceptionally hot day in store on Monday for Seattle. As that thermal trough moves on into Eastern Washington, you can really see it there on Tuesday, just extreme temperatures, but you can see Western Washington, Oregon do get a break. And, and again, it, we're looking at a relative break. We're still looking at upper 80s, close to 90 degrees on Tuesday. So, but no relief in sight for Eastern portions of the state. And let's go ahead and look at what we're expecting temperature wise. So let's see if I can zoom in on this here. If we look at Saturday, you're up upper 90s. Sunday, low 100s, possibly breaking SeaTax all time record high of 104 degrees. And as you go on into Monday, there's some more discrepancy in the temperatures, but still the European uh, control model is showing 111. I don't think we're going to get that high, but I do think we have the potential to break the SeaTac all-time record high again on Monday. So good shot at breaking the all-time record high for SeaTac. And really the thing that I like seeing the most is these marine pushes. I love seeing how these develop and look at this temperature drop as you go on into Tuesday morning. It's going to be it's going to be fun to watch that. So that's a feature of the West Coast thermal trough. As it slides over the Cascades in eastern Washington, we do usually get a good marine push. But again, as you look into Tuesday evening and afternoon, we're still back into the upper 80s, close to 90, which is still pretty extreme heat for Seattle. So the heat will continue on into next week, along with some chances of convection over the mountainous areas. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But right now we are looking at possibly the greatest three day heat wave ever for Western Washington, which is very impressive, especially for late June. You know, you expect something like this, if it were to happen, to happen in 
mid to late July. So it just shows the power of this upper level ridge and it's just going to really be the perfect setup for a west coast thermal trough and bringing offshore flow. Um, we're going to have some sea breezes that could cool us down a little bit if you stay next to the water areas, but really the air aloft is so warm. The heating is so impressive that it's going to be tough to avoid really getting above 100 degrees for at least two days for SeaTac here coming up. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, so yeah, if you guys like these videos, click like and subscribe and I'll try to do more of them. If you have any requests on certain events that you want me to go over, historical from the past, otherwise I can bring up the weather maps and go over certain events. Um, yeah, I'll keep posting these updates and I'll try to do these weather tutorials and help people understand the weather better in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I'll also be posting videos on local storm chases. We just did one that we ended up giving to AccuWeather about the dust devils in eastern Washington. I'll probably do that video next. Um, but yeah, so thanks for checking out my video, guys, and I will talk to you guys later.